terms of setting up a calendar or a diagonal, something along those lines, again, I'm going to point you towards this strikes all button here at the top. If you're going to strikes all and go to six or 10 or 12 or something like that. And then you see, we got the March 15th expiration. we got the April 19th expiration. So maybe we are going to, you know, buy the 126 or we'll see. And then this is quoting. So maybe we'll do, we'll buy the 130. We'll sell the 130 in the April 19th. So we got each leg here. And then, you know, as you are editing in your order ticket, you can drag, move around um, to different strikes. You can also uh, mess around with the expirations here. Again, pressing on the expirations button, and that'll launch it to the May 17th. So it, it can get a little finicky um, when, you're, when you're doing calendars on here, but uh, hopefully that helps answer your question there in terms of adjusting the legs individually. Uh, and then, you know, imagine you're doing like a ratio spread or something like that too. So this plays in as well. So what's important is that you can actually left click. <laughs> I'm tapping my finger and I'm saying click. I'm going crazy today. Uh, you can tap your screen on the leg here. So you see how it's gray, high, gray highlighting this, uh, this button right here or this leg. And then also in our bottom order ticket, it's adjusting here for a, a gray highlight. If we then go to our quantity button here and, and press plus, you'll see here it's actually showing S2, but then also we can see we're selling two leg, or well now, why is it saying minus one? That's, that's funky. Um, iPad's giving me a hard time. But uh, unless we already had that trick, but uh, essentially, yeah, that's where you can go in and you'd select an individual leg and adjust. And you know now that it's two to one and we unselect that leg and we go to quantity, now it's a two to four. Um, wow, this is really giving me a hard time now. But we have a two to four spread there or three to six as well. And uh, you know, if we wanted to then change it around and go select on another leg, change around with the quantity, do like three to four, or three legs, four legs. Um, that's how you can mess around with the ratios there. But uh, you know, if you don't want to do that too, there is the ratio spread in the strategy selector. But again, you're going to have to learn how to um, navigate those bottom tool tips. Might be a little bit easier just tapping on the expirations themselves.